sure like I see everybody competing and man they're strong and they run fast I don't care who cares man move on with your life and do what you want money if you have money that's even better if you have a family that's even better go do simple things nobody's gonna fucking harm you or you know if people look at you and think you're a fucking weirdo they think you're puny they think you're creepy who cares that's just how society is you're not gonna change it you're only gonna fucking stress yourself out man like being a good person is what matters even if I tacked on 40 50 pounds and still no girls like me it doesn't matter maybe I'll find a girl who will like me because it's the way I carry myself I'm a nice person who wants to be around somebody who's tough and beating people up and shit fuck that all that's gonna do is create negative karmas like I hang out with my uh, gay friends and my, my girlfriends we're, we're all like feminine people that doesn't mean I can't like conquer this fucking faggot ass UFC like I do things I like and enjoy I don't want to and the only reason I would enter that fucking UFC shit is because like to teach people like understanding and compassion because everybody's treating everybody's treating gays fucking bad and, and minorities bad I want to do like nice things I want to go around go to somebody's cookout and stuff their family hang out with their family maybe if I'm not shy that day and make people laugh or you know even if I'm just shy at least I'm there get to eat and stuff make a memory just enjoy my life like people that you people that have families you have kids you have no idea how lucky you have it I can't pull myself to do that ever I never will not because I'm just I can only take I can't even take care of myself it's because I don't think it's right to breed I don't think it's right to create life because I get lonely I'm not saying anybody any of you have done it for that reason but I don't think it's right to create life because I'm becoming lonelier I just I think my to myself I think that's selfish I don't want to condemn a human being to die when they're fucking 70 80 years old I think that's so horrible no matter what they go through what happiness they could go through I could fall in love again I could be happy again I have friends in my life at least even though I never fucking see them that much but like maybe I'll even find love one day life would be so awesome but I'm still gonna die we're all going to die we're all going to suffer oh yeah I take good with bad it's all bullshit it's just another thing society has made bullshit it's just like this horrible thing you know life we suffer we get some good times we suffer and then we just fucking die and we pass that on and to our next generation we just we like hide it we don't talk about it we don't understand it I, I think the world's most beautiful fireworks in the sky you experiencing them doesn't compare to a blind man I think all the fucking carnivals and zoos in the world and happiness doesn't compare to like one little field mouse fucking starving looking for food in a fucking field or being eaten by a snake or some shit it's it's not equal not in the slightest but religion has rationalized that and it's in our minds to think a certain way 
what we're doing is we're just we're coping we're smart intelligent human beings and we're coping that's what we're doing there's so much pitted against us that's why we are strong strong human beings maybe that's why we're violent and we fucking need guns and need to kill things because we're going insane maybe zombies are real maybe we're all just gonna become fucking insane one day and just start killing each other. It's kind of what we're doing now. We got we created industries of bad guys and good guys, where the good guys control the the fucking drugs, and we fucking sprinkle the drugs to the streets for the bad guys, and we, we lock them up. Let's say the Mexican gangs. They're doing drugs and shit. They're even killing police and doing all these bad things. And the fucking cells are trying to murder people and fight people. Let me tell you something. One person, me, stopped that. Just by showing another human being that's not right. I can go up to any group of people who are killing something or jumping somebody, and I could talk sense into them. We don't. You don't need a fucking gun. A gun creates shit that doesn't need to be created. It creates like more anger, more hatred, more defensive maneuvers. Like you don't need a fucking gun. A police officer. It's not because he has a gun that people listen. I when somebody pulls me over, I'm not afraid he's gonna blow my brains out. He's an official. A, He's an authoritative individual, and he's been around. He's been around to bad places, to good places. He deals with people every day. That's what a police officer is. It's like Jerry Springer's final thought, you know? He teaches you something. A police officer is probably smarter than you because he sees more of the world than you. He sees people's situations. He, he tries to fix... He tries to remedy things without putting somebody in jail, you know? Maybe give you a chance. If you're an asshole, if you're a total scumbag piece of shit, maybe he's going to send you away for, to jail. Maybe he'll do his quota for the fucking month because you're an asshole and you could learn some things.